on day number 24 you're gonna do this to us? Day number 24. Hello everybody and welcome to day number two of advent calendar season. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be unboxing one of the advent calendars that I'm most excited for. I think it's so stinking cute. I'm fairly certain there's glitter in my eye. Oh my heavens. I was up at four o'clock this morning making Christmas ornaments. It's, don't worry about it. It's fine. This is the Beekman 1802 calendar and I've received some Beekman stuff like in subscription boxes and things. I think they got a lot to do with goats, which I'm, I'm pretty excited about. I do like a goat. This is called the Countdown with Kindness advent calendar. It's a 24 day advent calendar and it has pretty good reviews like on like websites and things. This calendar is still available I do believe at the time of filming this it's $175 with a $320 value which $175 that's a, it's a chunk of change it is a good chunk of change but a $320 value is not terrible it's also 24 days and it is cute and it's about to get cuter I'm so excited to unwrap this little thing you were bob here I think it's supposed to adorn the top like a little cake topper because this calendar is supposed to represent like a three layered cake so let's go ahead and see what this little guy looks like heavy, which I think is exciting. <gasps> it's not Cracker Goat. Not Cracker Goat. It's not Cracker Goat. Oh, his little candy cane stick comes out of his hand. Okay, well that's absolutely precious and I am keeping this. You know, like a lot of these boxes and stuff, it's, it's hard to know what to do with them after advent calendar season, but like this, this is the mantle piece. This could go right up on the mantle. Nutcracker goat. You tie a little string to his horns there and just hang him from your Christmas tree if you want an ornament. Oh, and he just pops right in there. Just a little, little Nutcracker Goat cake topper. <laughs> I wanted to do this advent calendar today because the first one we started out with was Sephora and we knew that was gonna be bad. So I try to stagger like the good and the bad, you know, mix it up a little bit. And I thought this one might be good because it's so cute. But hopefully the contents are cute as well. I do believe this is going to be like a skincare advent calendar, which isn't my favorite. I will go ahead and just admit that is not my favorite, but I can't really like critique the fact that they didn't put any makeup in here because I don't, I don't think they make it. I don't think they make makeup. So if I was like, there's not enough makeup in here, that wouldn't make much sense. So I'm going in with the knowledge that this is a skincare advent calendar, so uh, we can't get too disappointed with that. All right, let's begin here with day number one, our first little cake slice with our first little item in it. Rosie Posey. Okay. All right. So there might not be like makeup makeup in here, but this is a rosy posy SPF 15 goat milk tinted lip balm. So that's kind of makeup y. You know, it's color that goes on your face. I'm hoping it doesn't actually smell like roses though or taste like roses. Oh, that's kind of cute. Very like minimalistic packaging. I don't know if it'll show up on camera very well, but it almost has kind of like a plaid texture to it. Oh, that's actually such a pretty shade. It's not super pink. I was worried it was going to be like really rosy pink, but it kind of has like a neutral tone to it. Ooh, I might really like this. I love just like a tinted lip balm, a really light lip color, and that feels really nice and thick and hydrating. God, it doesn't smell like roses. Good on your Beekman. I might just put it on my face. Just go ahead and do it. Oh, look, everything's stuck to everything. Why is everything sticky? My lips are a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Okay, I actually applied to the lips. It is a little bit more pink than I anticipated for some reason. It looks a little different than it does in the back of my hand. There's more of like a milky pinkiness on my lips, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. It doesn't look too awfully different from what I was just wearing and it feels really nice. It does feel nice and hydrating. Where's the lid? Dang on it. I don't know if this is a full size but it feels like it could be a full size. So that's nice. Starting off the calendar here with potentially a full size makeup be like item. Sephora could never. This one does not spin. Probably for the best because if there were some type of like ooh like a little like lazy Susan that looked like a cake stand that would be so cute but it would also make me want to like spin it real fast and we know what happens when I spin having calendars. Things go flying. Okay. Day number two. Ooh, this is Ready? Show some kindness at work by bringing cupcakes into the office. We're currently setting inside my office, so I'm all for bringing cupcakes into this office. Well, look how pretty this packaging is. It is another lip balm. This is a Ylang Ylang and Tuber Rose uh, goat milk lip balm. I don't know if this one's gonna be tinted. Ew. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is the outer packaging here, which is just so cute. And then we have the inner packaging, which is, is less is less cute. I do kind of wish it just it looked like this. <laughs> I think this is really pretty, and this is very um just black with <laughs> beekman on it. It appears it's just a clear lip balm. Ooh. I think I'm I think I'm detecting a hint of rose in there. There is kind of that ylang ylang, a little bit like citrusy scent to it, but there's something else in there. I, don't, I think the rose is kind of coming through on this one, so this might not be my favorite item, but the outer packaging is adorable. The outer packaging is real cute. It's got a good pop to it. Moving on here to day number three. Ooh, this looks like a nice size. Honey fed grapefruit. Oh, <laughs> but it doesn't say honey fed whatsoever. It says honeyed grapefruit. I'm trying to figure out how they're feeding grapefruits honey. Like what kind of farming is that? Oh, that's tight. It is a whipped body cream. Ooh, this would be nice. 
Oh, that's a smell. At first, I really liked it. At first, I was like, oh, this smells really, really nice. But then, the more I sniffed it, it smells a little bit like one of those, um, you get them at like the Dollar Tree. They're like the Glade air fresheners, and they have that jelly stuff inside that I want to poke so bad. It smells a little bit like that. It is a very intense smell. It doesn't smell bad at all. It smells nice. It's just very, very intense. At least to me personally. I think it's a very strong scent, but I mean, if you want to smell good and you want your body products to smell good, then I guess strong is good. Day number four. Ooh, it's up next. I'm so glad I got this advent calendar. I just look like uh, I just love goats, okay? I just love goats and apparently so does Beekman. We got that in common. Let me pull my chair up a little bit. I'm far away from you guys. The next item in here is a bar of soap. But look at what it's wrapped in. It's wrapped in goats. I love it. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Little goat feet on the back there. This is the goat milk soap. Who could have guessed? Vanilla Absolute, enriched with jojoba. This is silly, but like I don't I don't want to unwrap it. I kind of just want to set it in my bathroom with the goats on it. If you grew up in the 90s, it's probably the 80s too. In the bathroom, there's always some type of like soap that you weren't supposed to use. It's decorative soap. It does smell nice. Oh man, I got my lipstick on it. Can I unwrap it and then wrap it back? Oh, I can probably. That's a fancy looking bar of soap. Very minimalistic, that like light tannish creamy color with the numbers pressed into it. That looks fancy to me. It also smells really good. I love vanilla stuff and it smells really nice. I've gotten on to having calendars before about putting bars of soap like in their calendars, but they never wrapped it in goat paper before. That's that's where they went wrong. It's also a good size. It's not like this big. It's not like a hotel like mini bar of soap. It's a real bar of soap. All right, day number five is up next here. Wait, we got something? I don't know what that was. The next item is a day moisturizer yet again with goat milk. I wonder if they just have like a farm with like thousands of goats. It has a prebiotic and milk postbiotic which is the the first time I've ever heard of a postbiotic. Prebiotic, probiotic, postbiotic? It says it is clinically tested to soften, soothe, and moisturize. I would assume this is probably a mini size of the moisturizer, but it comes in just like a little pumpy bottle. Apply a pea size amount twice daily. Moving on here to day number six. This seems like a good size of whatever it is. Oh, it's a cuticle serum. Goat milk cuticle serum. They'll put milk in just about anything, won't they? As long as it's from goat. For smooth, soft cuticles and healthy nails. Ooh, it has a fun little applicator. I like that. So you just like twist it on and off and then just rub it all over your cuticles. Day number seven is up next. A cute little squeezy tube. This is a sunshine lemon goat milk hand cream. Sunshine daisy buttermellow. It's supposed to be lightweight and quick absorbing. It just has a cute little pattern on the front there with some lemons and a little bit of squares. What would you call that? Gingham? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is kind of like a citrusy lemon scent to it, but there's also kind of like a masculine cologne scent. It's definitely different than I was originally anticipating. I thought it was just gonna be like a super strong lemon scent, but there's 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 something else in there. It does seem to absorb pretty quickly though, and my hands do feel nice and smooth. At least, you know, these two fingers that I got it on feel good. They <laughs> That's adorable. The next thing we have in here is an adorable little macaron. This is another lip balm. So we're on lip balm number three at this point. Uh, it's in the scent, I guess, lavender. That smells like nothing. That smells like almost absolutely nothing. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm a little bit congested, but I'm having a hard time. Oh, there it is. There it is. Why did it just like delay hit me with lavender? Now I'm getting the lavender scent. I don't know why it was like delayed, uh, but yeah, there is a lavender scent and it's just, you know, clear little lip balm, but the packaging is precious. This is adorable. Oh, and that is the first layer of our cake done. Time to move on to layer number two. I honestly do really appreciate how like all the numbers are in order. So I don't have to keep like looking around, 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 around to find the next number. So moving on down here to day number nine. Oh, you're just little. Oh, so little. Oh, it says, oh, mega. <laughs> Not quite a mega size of it, but this is the O exclamation point mega milk fermented barrier oil. That sounds interesting. I wonder what fermented goat milk tastes like. Probably not. That's probably not something that you drink. Ever. Every time. Every single time. It's not awful. It does smell kind of like milky, creamy, but there's like, you know, maybe you can tell that it's been like hanging out for a little bit. This is a super creamy face oil. I don't think I've ever seen a face oil with like the texture, consistency, and look of heavy whipping cream. There is a little bit of funk. There's a little bit of funk in there. I just can't get over this little goat nutcracker. He's got cupcake on his head. That's, it's just the cutest thing. Alrighty here. Ooh, another bar of soap. Moving on here to day number 10. Now this bar of soap is 
was a little bit disappointing because there are no goats on it. Uh, I could have gone for another goat soap. This one is in the scent lavender. We could have done like purple goats. I don't see a problem with that. Here, the packaging's fine. It's kind of cute, I guess. Reminds me of like something like a, an older British lady, like a wallpaper she might have. This bar looks pretty much exactly like the first bar. Oh, the lavender scent on this is also a little bit light. I feel like the lavender isn't as like maybe punchy as some of the other fragrances. That honeyed grapefruit was like, woo, that's a strong scent. These feel a little more refined, toned down. I honestly don't think I would mind if it had like an even stronger scent. Maybe not on the lip balm though. I don't know how much I want to be like smell tasting lavender all day. But for something like a bar of soap, I do like a pretty intense fragrance. 11 is up next. Ooh, this looks like a really nice size. This is a Milk Drops Ceramide Serum. Milk Drops sound like, like a candy. What's a cute little bottle? Very interesting shape. Okay, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it kind of from like a distance and the little screen here, does this, this, this kind of look like a little tiny baby bottle? Either like a baby bottle that you would have gotten with like a doll, you know, like for Christmas or something when you were little, you know, the mouth would be like this so you could, you could feed it. Or like a baby bottle pop. It's still cute though. It's a cute little nice frosted glass bottle. <laughs> I definitely feel like this is a bit deceiving though because there's, there's a whole lot of glass to this and not really a whole lot of serum. So if you can see here, like all of this is just big chunky glass and then on the inside you get like this much serum and just like a little round thing. That smells, I don't like how that smells. They called it Milk Drops and I think that's a very apt name. Um, it smells like milky in the sense that there's like a, a gallon of milk in the fridge and you're not quite sure how long it's been there and you just give it a little like test and you decide maybe you shouldn't drink it. Again, there's like a funk to it. I don't think it's gone bad or anything like that. A lot of these things are made from goat milk. I'm sure there's a little bit of a funky smell to goat milk. It says, give your thirsty skin a cool drink of milk. I just can't imagine anything worse than being like thirsty, especially like hot and thirsty. <laughs> And somebody being like, here, you want, a, you want a tall glass of milk? No, no thank you. Day number 12 is up next here. We are halfway through the advent calendar. Another like nice size product. Ooh, almond honey cookie. Now that's something that I think is gonna smell really good. This is a goat milk whipped body cream. So I'm really excited to smell this. Oh my goodness, that smells, that smells really good. I personally love almond scented like creams and stuff. There's something about them I think smell just delicious. They smell so good. For some reason almonds just have that cherry scent to them. But then there's like the richness from like the honey cookie. It's kind of like a fruity yet decadent scent. I personally really like it. Oh yeah, that is my favorite scent so far. Day number 13 is up next year. Okay, I think we might have yet another lip balm. So we're on lip balm number Four, I think. This one doesn't have as cute as outer packaging in my personal opinion. It's just very minimalistic. But this is a pure goat milk lip balm. So I guess we're not dealing with like a lot of like scents or color or anything. For dry or chapped lips, that is absolutely me. Ew, this one's more fun on the inside though. There's no branding. That's so strange. I thought for sure it would say Beekman somewhere around like this little kind of plaid sticker, but no, there's absolutely no branding. Oh wait, the lid says it. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. There's a little bit of that goat milk funk in there. It mainly smells like nothing but there is just like the slightest little tiny hint of like a, a like a soured milk just a little bit but I guess it's just that goat milk what do you know another bar of soap <laughs> next up here for day number 13 we have a sunshine lemon bar of soap I'm assuming this is gonna have that very like fragrant kind of citrusy yet you know cologne scent I wonder if the Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder if the numbers on the front change. No, it's B1802 because that's the, the name of the company. Okay, interesting. This definitely has a lighter scent than the hand cream did, but I feel like I'm getting like the notes different. This one, like those cologne kind of scents come through first and then I'm getting like a little bit of citrus at the end. It's definitely not a strong scent. I am however wondering like maybe if the scent is stronger once it's like lathered up with water and stuff. I don't mind the scent. I don't think it's bad or anything. It's not my personal favorite. It just smells like a, like a masculine lemon. And number 15 is up next here. Let's see what we have. Another little squeezy doob. So we have yet another hand cream this time and the scent lavender. I'm gonna assume that this one has a stronger scent than the lavender bar soap or the lavender lip balm. Can I just not smell good? Maybe that's the problem. Okay, it feels really nice on the skin. First off, it feels very nice on the skin. There definitely is a lavender scent to it. I feel like it's not super strong. It's a very like crisp lavender scent, if that makes sense. Like kind of sharp lavender. Day number 16 is up next here. Ooh, another nice size pot. We have another whipped body cream this time in this scent Vanilla Absolute, which I did like in the soap. And I'm hoping that this has like an even more intense vanilla scent to it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I ripped my teeth out. Oh, that was not nearly as satisfying. What the heck? <laughs> this is ripped off in like three layers. There's still, like there's, that's plastic. 
This is, this is, this is a mess. I cannot get the safety seal off. Ooh, but it does smell very nice. It smells like vanilla whipped cream. Mmm. It's also all over me, so I might as well go ahead and like test it out. I'm just gonna rub it on my leg. That feels really nice. It covers like a good surface area too. I got pretty like thick thighs and it's like covering my whole leg area. Even like as I'm rubbing it in and it's absorbing, like I can still like, smell that vanilla scent. Oh, we already did that day. All right, we've made it through our second layer of our little layering cake here. So let's move on to the third and final layer. Let's move on here to day number 17. Ooh, another large size item. Ah, okay. So we have a, another bar of soap here, but this one is a little bit different. This is a milk bar and it's a facial cleansing bar. It says with a little water, the solid bar transforms into a foaming cleanser that'll give you a fresh start any time of the day. So it's not necessarily, well, I, it's soap. It's soap, you know? I was gonna say, oh, it's not really like a bar of soap. It's just like a, a chunk of solid cleanser, which I think could could also be a definition for soap. And there it is. It's our chunk of solid cleanser. Uh, nothing really on this, no details or anything. Just a very like plain looking bar. It doesn't have like too much of a scent to it. Just kind of that's just kind of like a standard soapy scent. Maybe a little bit of that sourness from the goat milk. So yeah, a non-liquid cleanser. that looks like a bar of soap. Moving right along here to day number 18. What do we got? Ooh. <laughs> milkshake. This is a hyaluronic acid and squalane facial toner mist. And I guess it's called a milkshake because you're supposed to shake it to activate it. So that's pretty cute. Uh, it has mugwort. That sounds like something from Harry Potter. Goat milk and probiotic extract in it. It's supposed to help you tone and hydrate. It says it has moisturizing, emollient rich treatments. Oh, and apparently it wears well under or over makeup. So I guess you can use it as just kind of like a hydrating spray throughout the day if you wanted to, or like, you know, before you put on your makeup. Mugwort. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to look that up. What's a mugwort? It's just a little plant. Just a little, just a green little plant. <laughs> Artemisia vulgaris is like the fancy name for it. It's from the Daisy family. I'd be so mad if my name was Artesima and someone called me Mugwort. All right, day at number 19 is up next here. A tiny little, oh, goats! I get excited every time there's goats. I mean, there's been the milk of the goat and everything that we've looked at pretty much so far, but this one actually has a little cute little picture of them. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So the next thing we have in here is a pure goat milk cuticle cream, which we did already receive something for our cuticles inside of this box. And I feel like that's just a little specific to include like multiple of, you know what I mean? There are multiple body butters in here. There are multiple like lip balms and stuff, but cuticle cream is like a very specific thing. I feel like it's interesting to include too. I guess this one is a cream. The other one's kind of like maybe a serum or like an oil. So I want to see what the cute little jar looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah. It just looks like a tiny little jar. It is itty bitty. It's very, very small. It looks kind of balmy. I honestly thought it was going to be like a, like a, <laughs> Dag on it. We've received like 7,000 of them in here. A, like a cream. I thought it'd be like the texture of a cream, like a lotion. Lotion's what we're looking for. I'm sure it's very nice. I'm sure it's very lovely, but it is kind of small and we do already have like a cuticle product in here and there are no goats on the jar. So, all right, moving along here to day number 20. We're getting very close to the end. What are you? This is a dewy eyed illuminating eye serum. Again, with goat milk and postbiotic. Maybe that's something else I should Google. What the heck is a postbiotic? So we just have another little, like, little pumpy bottle of the eye serum and it just says apply it twice daily, pea sized amount. It's, it's pretty small. It is pretty small. I know you don't use a ton of eye cream, but it is a little itty bitty. <laughs> I wish it says say goodbye to fatigue with her clinically tested goat eye milk. I wish it's all I needed to get rid of my fatigue. Just rub a little goat milk under my eyes just fixed up ready to go instead I have this and I have this both of them seven o'clock in the morning gotta wake up somehow moving right along here to day number 21 what could it be oh I think these are just too cute. So this time we have like a little, maybe like vanilla looking macaroon. Macaron? Yes, okay, this is the Vanilla Absolute scent in the lip balm. So I'm excited to see what this smells like. Very light, just very, very light. I honestly wish there was more scent to it for some reason. Again, maybe not the lavender one because who wants to be like sucking in lavender all day? But vanilla, I'll suck in vanilla all day. It is just a super, super light vanilla scent, but like the little containers, the little macaron containers are precious. And as I always say, you can win me over with packaging every single time. This calendar is precious, it's adorable. I'm probably gonna like it because it's cute. If you want me to not roast your advent calendars, put them in a cute little box. Put a little goat on top of it. I'll love it. All right, day number 22 is up next. There's some heft, some heft. Ooh, I feel like this is probably a little bit of a fancy expensive product. This is a Dream Booster Buck Control Anti-Aging serum -y thing. Better aging serum. An age-defying serum to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. What about 
deep lines. What about deep like forehead lines for making like this face far too much? I make like this face for everything. It's my concentration face. It's my listening face. It's my confused face. <laughs> Pretty much I just look like that 24-7. Is this then another baby bottle pop? It is! So we got another cute little baby bottle here with some purple liquid on the inside. Every time I see anything that's like muck control, it's always purple. I wonder if like the plant that this comes from is purple itself or they just for some reason like to make it purple. I don't know. That's the tiniest little nubby vial in there. Again, you're not getting like a ton in here. Like the glass on this is really making it feel more substantial than it really is. Apparently there's a half a fluid ounce in here. It just doesn't seem like a ton. It really doesn't. All right, that was day number 22. So close to the end. Day number 23 is up next here. It is another bar of soap. <laughs> this one is a scent that we haven't seen yet. Okay, so this is a honey and orange blossom soap. I bet that's gonna smell really, really good. I really like things that are orange scented and I don't love honey, but I like honey scents and things. Oh, so this is a sweet relief formula. I guess the soaps have different like formulas to them. This one is to hydrate and balance with shea butter and beautiful botanical extracts. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm getting the hit of that orange already. Like this one I think is pretty strongly scented, but it also looks different. I guess this formula is different than the other ones. It has more of like a creamy look to it. It looks more like opaque as well. And yeah, oh, that smells good. It does smell really good. It has some nice kind of like sweet orange scents in there. I feel like the vanilla, even though it might not be like a super strong scent, might still be my favorite out of the soap bars because I really like the vanilla scent. And, and, the, and the goats. All right, you guys, that brings us here to our very final day of our super cute cake goat advent calendar. Cake goat is something I never thought I would say, but that, that's what this is. That is a goat on top of cake. I have been enjoying it so far, but I do feel like there have been maybe a lot of repeat kind of products in here. So I'm hoping for our very last, final, most exciting day, we see something perhaps full size, like a skincare kind of item, maybe something a little bit on like the higher end spectrum price-wise of their line of skincare stuff. So hopefully we get something very exciting. All right, day number 24, feeling a little white, a little white. No, Beekman, no, say it ain't so. On day number 24, you're gonna do this to us? Day number 24, the day that is supposed to be like the biggest, the bestest of all days, right? I firmly believe that. That is a hill that I will die on. Day number 24 should be the best day of your advent calendar. Everything is leading up to day number 24. You should put something spectacular as day number 24. But instead of spectacular, we get this. It's in an, oh wait, is it a goat? Okay, listen take it out of its little plastic here. Okay, I do love goats. I feel like I've made that vastly clear as we're unboxing this advent calendar. I personally, when I opened this up, it was laying like upside down like this. So when I saw it, I thought it was a pineapple. And I was like, are you kidding me? There's a pineapple pin on the last day of this advent calendar. Come to find out, it's actually an adorable little goat eating a cookie inside of a cookie jar. Okay, that's cute. Why isn't it cake? I feel like it should be cake. This entire advent calendar is cake. It says sweet to be kind on it. And I agree. It is very sweet to be kind. But when you put an enamel pin on the last day of your advent calendar, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to have words. If you are just like, absolutely, I have to include a pin. Thank you for making it a goat, first of all. Second of all, don't put it as your final day. That's all I want. And with this goat eating its cookie, <laughs> concludes our Beekman 1802 advent calendar. Now, like I already said, I do think that there were a fair amount of repeats in here. We got a lot of bars of soap. We got so many different creams and several and many lip balms. I think, what are we on, like six lip balms or something? That's a lot of lip balms. In a calendar, that's like one fourth lip balms. However, we have seen so much worse. We have seen so much worse. We've seen very incredibly expensive advent calendars that are full of just little itty bitty tiny sample sizes of skincare. Whereas this, yes, $175 is a lot of money. That is a whole lot of money. We are seeing supposedly a $320 value. So that is not bad. That's truly and honestly not terrible. I do love the thought, the detail, the attention they put into everything. Like making it a cake is so cute. Having this come with it is adorable. Oh, I also got this for free, whatever this is. Oh, a buttermilk makeup melt cleansing balm. That's so nice that they included another product with my purchase. I think this would make a super cute gift for somebody, especially if you know that they like goat milk soaps and things like that. I do think this is a very cute advent calendar. I, however, like this might not be the one that I pick for me. If I was picking out an advent calendar for myself, I would lean away from one that was like just skincare related or body care related. And I personally would want something with like makeup in it. Taking like my own personal preferences out of it, I do think this is a cute advent calendar. And for the money, I don't think it's terrible. I do wish 
it was a little bit more diversified. I'm, I'm sure they were including a lot more of their like less expensive items into it to kind of fluff it up, fill it up a little bit. So I don't know. I think it's really cute. I think it's adorable, but I would love to hear all its opinions about it. Let me know everything you think down below in the comments about this advent calendar. Also, let me know a calendar that you guys want to see next. We have so many more left to go. So thank you guys for hanging out with me for day number two of our advent calendar countdown. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. I mean, the absolute world to me. And we have so many advent calendars left to go. So make sure you tune in for those. I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.